Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Mastodon Battle Zord from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2017 movie. This is the Zord that belongs to Zack in the uh, brand new movie version of MMPR. And uh, yeah, um, they decided to release, uh, there are two ways to get these Zords. Uh, to combine and form the Megazord, either you um, buy them separately like I did, or or uh, just recently they actually released a pack with all five of the Zords. Now that one's uh, a tad bit more expensive, um, I did check, but um, if you want to get all five, uh, then there's your best bet. But any, um, I will be... Uh, the way I'll be reviewing these is I'll be reviewing these in their call-out order. So first the Mastodon, then Pterodactyl, uh, Saber, uh, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and then finish it off with the Tyrannosaurus. And then I will do um, the combination video after I do Tyrannosaurus. So um, also comes with a capture net which is a spider web for some reason i'll get into that later and it comes with a black ranger figure which we will get to later so here we have the box you know power rangers mastodon battle zord with black ranger um you do get a picture of the um movie red ranger it does show you which um part of the megazord this forms this side just says Power Rangers, Power Rangers, nothing on the bottom, on the back, of course. Is everything you're going to do? Launch the catapult and use the Megazord cockpit, or the Ranger cockpit, rather. So, um... Now, I'll actually take a look at the Zord itself first. Now... Zord itself um, is actually pretty well designed, um, though be it, it comes off being the oddball of the bunch. Um, so here we have it uh, done out. I got interrupted. Anyway, oh geez. Yeah, I'll get into that bit later as well. Um, done out in mostly black plastic uh, with, uh, with uh, light blue paint down here. It does have some grayish silver plastic uh, silver paint right there uh, you do get also the blue paint on the windshield for the cockpit later on um so very nice um again this zord comes off being the oddball of the bunch because it actually has eight legs and it's kind of a mixture of between a mastodon and a spider and I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why they made that choice. And it's clearly obvious because this is not a net. It's a spider web. Like you can tell. It's clearly a spider web. Um, maybe that will get explained in the movie. I don't know. Um, Posability, it doesn't have much to offer. The legs do go um, back. But then they do come off. One thing I wish that um, that these Zords would have used if they would have used the Zord Builder ports, uh, which were a lot more hefty and could hold on to the joints because the, the little connection is a friction peg, which is a peg that doesn't have any edgings and it's just like a really tight hole. Now... In some cases, that's fine, but mostly for this Megazord, it wasn't the right choice. Um, and and I, I really do wish that they would have done something else. And I'll even show off its combined mode so you get a, a good idea of how tall the Megazord's going to be. Um, but yeah. Now, it does also come with the Black Ranger right here, Zack. Uh, mostly done in black plastic. You do get blue for the chest, uh, a darker black for the 
visor and silver for the mouth plate. Uh, very basic. Now, posability, he does have full 360 arm rotation. Um, the legs do go in and out. And that's pretty much it. Now, you can put him in the cockpit. Open that up. Uh, it doesn't have much detail. I wish it did, but eh, it's not really there for detail. It's there so that you can put Zach inside. Make sure to get it aligned. Close it up. Now Zach is piloting the uh, Mastodon. And of course, you can take the catapult here. Uh, turn it around and um, attach it right there. And then you take the web, put it in there, and hope that it doesn't fall again. All right, that's good. And then let me elevate camera. That is not well elevated. Um, There, that's better. Um, so you got the web inside of the catapult, and you just like give it like a good flick, and it'll go. If you really want to put some force into it, you can just like pound it with your finger and kind of just have it do all sorts of weird stuff. Which it's simple, but it's not that bad of a gimmick. I do wish there was a little bit more involved, but. Hey, and then you put it back into its standard position for storage. Now, uh, before I get into how showing you how this thing will connect to the Megazord, I will give a little comparison to its original mold, which I got from the uh, Legacy Megazord set. Um, and as you can tell, this Mastodon is very less spider-like. I don't know where they got the idea to make it part spider. Who knows, maybe the same radioactive spider that be bit Peter Parker bit this thing. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, um, they're very much different, not only in the mold, but in what they form. Now... Normally, the Mastodon would form the arms, both the arms of the Megazord. However, this forms just a foot, specifically the left foot. Um, I'll show that off just in case you want to know how to do it. Now, for the combined mode, uh, temporarily take off the catapult section, uh, remove the front legs and leave the back legs on. Take off the head and take off the little plate on his stomach. So flip the back legs forward or back rather. Take out this. I need to elevate the camera once again. And, uh, Trailer. Something fell out, but I don't care. That rhymes, sort of, I think. I don't know. Not really paying much attention to anything else. So there's, so, yeah, now that we pulled that out, um, what you want to do, I don't think it really matters which way these go, but you want to take the front legs and stick them onto the pegs right here. Um, it's very tricky. It really is. Um, especially if you have it the wrong way. Did I have it the wrong way? I'm not sure if it matters. Actually, wait, no, I think this is the right way. Because I, cause I got it in like this earlier, and now it doesn't want to go in. There it is. Okay. Yeah, those don't like to go in sometimes. And the other... There it is. I don't know why it didn't do that. Then you take the catapult, put it back right here. Um, take the uh, 
plate and make it the uh, leg guard thing. Then take the head, plop it on so that it's a foot. And now your Mastodon has become a leg for the combined mode and it will attach via the slide joint. Now, uh, another reason I don't like the peg system is because these legs uh, will fall out really easily. Um, of course it's not doing it now, but if you start moving it around, these legs here and those legs there will come out very, very easily, which is why I would have preferred if the joints that they used, uh, the connection points, were the Zord Builder type um, that they've always been using for their other Zords uh, to basically make it a lot easier and make these a lot more sturdier because if you want to carry this uh, from room to room for like display purposes, it's not going to want to cooperate. And I've run into that problem, ooh, about... 13 times owning this thing alone. I have all five of the pieces right now to form the Megazord. And, uh, yeah. Okay, put that back in the chest. Okay, pull back and hold on as I give you back your head. And give me back your head. There we go. Hold on, as I put everything back where it goes. Overall, um, overall, the Mastodon may look a little strange, but it's actually a pretty cool uh, Zord. And I honestly can't wait to show you guys how these all combined uh, because it, it's a pretty cool combination. Uh, though be it, this Zord is the oddball of the bunch. Uh, it is still pretty nice and uh, I suggest you pick it up, especially if you want to create the biggest Megazord of all time. So I will see you guys later. Take care.